This is a public service announcement. To please remember to Google before you speak. One day not too long ago, my son came home from school. Yep, that's him. I think he was about five years old at the time. Anyway, he comes home wearing his first ever temporary tattoo on his arm. I think it might have been a tattoo of a dragon or a wizard or something. So anyway, he shows me this tattoo and I say, cool, you know what they call those? They call those a tramp stamp. Now in my defense, I was completely ignorant of what that word actually means. So about three days go by before my wife walks up to me and says, did you tell our son to call that thing a tramp stamp? So I laughed. Don't worry, I said. It's not what you think it is. It's just a quaint word for tattoos that hobos use during the Great Depression. It's not my fault if other people think it's some offensive term. Then about 10 minutes later, I remembered we had this thing called the internet. And so I tried looking it up. And as I'm betting you already know, tramp stamp is definitely not a depression era hobo term. In my defense, however, stamp tramp most definitely is a depression era hobo term. The moral of the story, of course, always Google before you speak for the children's sake.